In 1980, the Southern Pacific, through its subsidiary, the Cotton Belt, took possession of the Golden State portion of the bankrupt Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific Railroad. It included the line from Tucumcari, New Mexico to Kansas City, and from there across Missouri and up to Chicago. To accomplish this, the SP had to bring the rock into the computer age. A legion of computer hacks were dispatched from San Francisco to the rock to install equipment and train the employees. Among the instructors was Goofy Gary. So Gary, where did you begin? I had already been wandering around the Southwest implementing the Waybill Freight Bill project in places like Deming, New Mexico and Alpine, Texas. So it wasn't too far to head to Tucumcari, New Mexico. That was an easy station to cut over because it was already on the SP TOPS system. We had a group of people playing leapfrog up the rock to Kansas City. Where did you go next? My first big challenge was Topeka, Kansas. It was a challenge for several reasons. First, all of the clerical staff was comprised of former company officers who had lost their positions and had bumped back to their seniority, if they had any, as clerks. They hadn't clerked in years. Second, the rocks still used pencils and paper. These guys didn't know the first thing about computers. Third, they were like old dogs trying to learn new tricks. It took a lot of patience working with them. What condition was the rock in? It was in terrible shape. The SP had work trains all over upgrading the right-of-way. The yard at Topeka looked like the San Andreas Fault ran through it. There were broken rails everywhere. Fortunately, the SP didn't get any of their broken locomotives in the deal. Everything we ran was pretty much the latest equipment we had. The Topeka Yard interlocking tower was a quaint electromechanical interlocker located between the east end of the yard and the Kansas River where, on the other side, the rock joined the Union Pacific Line. The rock ran over the UP between Topeka and Kansas City, Kansas. Did you get to do any rail fanning out there? Did I ever. One day I wandered south of Topeka and right away ran into this Santa Fe Hudson along the road. A little farther on was this cute little Santa Fe train order station in Pauline. The lady agent telegrapher there was very friendly and I was just in time for a meet. She had a mini museum inside the station.
So where to next? I'm going to Kansas City. Kansas City, here I come. So stay tuned for more.